Hi, I'm Rob from popteen.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. <clears throat> this time I'll be looking at uh, a beer from the Colonel Brewery in London. It's their Pale Ale Centennial Chinook. It's a 5.3% um, Pale Ale. One of the other reasons for me doing this video, I've just got home from work. I'm quite hot, quite thirsty. <coughs> Fancy something light, refreshing. And also, Colonel, it's a, very, it's a bottle conditioned beer. And there's quite a lot of sediment in it. Like you probably can't really see it. Oh yeah, you can. Loads of sediment in this. So, I've had a bit of a back and forth with Simon from the Real Ale Guy. And he loves putting the sediment in. I don't really like it. But, and I've heard a lot of good things about putting the sediment of a kernel bit in it. Adds a bit of body. A bit of body. And so I'm going to give it a go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up. And then I'm going to drink a bit of it. Tell you what I think. Then I'm going to do a bit of editing on another video. Uh, I'm going to come back, I'm going to pour in the rest of the beer and give you my idea of what it tastes like with the sediment in. See if it's a good thing, if it's a bad thing. I, I will eat my words, Simon, if you're right, but let's get this open. Bit of smoke. Coming out of the top of the bottle then. So yeah, I love Colonel Bottles, I think they're really nice. Uh, it's a tiny little brewery in a um, in a, um, a railway arch in, um, I guess, kind of south south London, near Birra Market. It's just three guys, really basic setup, brewing amazing beers, I've got to admit. I love the labels, it's, it's all hand stamped with a little kind of little stamp and hand labelled and everything, it's all hand bottled, they do four bottles at a time and they primarily brew bottled beers. It's pretty impressive because it's a beautiful beer. So, it's quite murky, it's quite a hazy looking beer. There you go, let's give it a swirl, get some head in it. It's a nice kind of foamy, slightly creamy, big bubbles in the head, big, big soapy looking bubbles. Really white, nice looking head. Kind of looks like a like a vice beer or something like that, a wheat beer from Germany. Let's have a sniff. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've had this one. I've had quite a lot of beers from Colonel, but I don't think I've had this one. And that sm that smells absolutely incredible. Oh, just loads of fresh pine, like a, a really juicy sweet pine. Bit a little touch of resinous. Loads of orange in there. That's a real fresh orange juice. Oh, man alive, that's good. Oh. Just loads of fruit in there. Quite a tart, uh, quite a twat tartness, maybe a bit like um, a slightly underripe pineapple. Wow, oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, man, that's incredible. Yeah, piney, orange, bit of lemon peel in there. Bit of grapefruit, obviously, but like a bitter, bitter orange. Loads of fresh, juicy, kind of sweet pine. Outstanding. Can't wait to taste it. <laughs> For three point five percent, there's loads of flavour in that. Loads of flavour in that. It's nice and light, but loads of flavour. Really bitterness at the start, really sharp bitterness. Orange juice blended with um, grapefruit juice and and a, and a dryness of um, like a citrus rind. I'm not going to say if it's bait, uh, orange or whatever. I think it's a blend of that. It's a, it's a tart bitterness, but Moorish. Bit of that pine's coming through, but the bitterness is all tart. Orange juice, grapefruit juice, really fresh, light, vital flavours. Absolutely outstanding. Five point three percent. It tastes. It has the amount. Of, it has the same kind of flavour as a big IPA. Maybe like seven percent. A bit like, but the. Um, oh, it's just a beautiful combination. It's not the same on the nose as you get in the mouth, but it's outstanding. Oh, that's beautiful. 
pens, grapefruit, a slightly herbal grassiness, a bit of a, like a green tea quality going on in there. That's a superb American style pale ale with Chinook and Centennial. I've tried to brew a beer with these two hops, it didn't turn out as good as this. Not by a long shot. Anyway, I'm going to gonna turn the camera off. I'm going to do a little bit of editing. I'm going to come back. I'm going to dunk in this sediment and I'll give you an idea of what I think this beer has turned into by adding that sediment. So anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Cheers. Hi, I'm back. Um, I've just been rendering a video review I did of Stone Levitation. I've been happily sipping away, as you can see, at my bottle of um, Colonel Pale Ale, Centennial Chinook, 5.3%. And as I said earlier, uh, I'm going to drink half of it without the sediment, well a bit over half really. And then I'm going to shake it up. Give it a good swirl, because there's loads of sediment in this. Yeah, but it's quite tightly packed in, so I'm, I'm just going to try and get it up. And as Simon on the Real Ale Guide likes to pour in the sediment, I'm going to give it a go. So let's get this in. Look at that. Complete different. <laughs> Completely different beer that. Looks absolutely disgusting. I can see the big globule, globules of sediment scraping its way down the glass. Look at that. Horrible. Looks like it's a bloody cement mixer. Anyway, I'm not gonna I might not drink all of this, but Simon, in the for the um, sake of comparison, here we go. I'm not gonna drink it all because I might be on the toilet all night. Anyway. I think the aroma's lost. It's it's been lost a bit now. It's been dulled, definitely. I'm not being biased, I, I really want to be proved wrong, and I think you can drink beers with sediment sometimes. But I knew this one would have a load. Look at all that yeast packing down in there. Loads of it. Loads of it. It's crazy. So, here we go. Wish me luck. It's not lost that much. For me, it's bringing out the bitterness. It's hiding a lot of the um, those lovely tastes that I got initially. It looks like, it looks awful to be honest now. Look at that, it's terrible. Before it was a really clean looking beer. That's a, that looks like a dirty dishwater. It's added body, I have to admit. And maybe for some kind of beer, that's not too bad a thing. Not for a pale ale, though. It's lost its vibrancy, though. It's not as clean and sharp and vital as it was before. It's not ruined it. It's adding a astringency that wasn't there before. And... Oh... There's a really over bitter aftertaste there. I came into this idea fully expecting, uh, trying to be completely impartial. I know I've got my attitudes towards this whole thing, but um, I, I wanted to be open. I wanted to give it a fair crack. It's, I think it's holding up because it's such a good beer. But. It has impaired it no end. Look at the state of that. Please re rewind and look at how, what this beer looked like before. Look at what it looks like now. Shocking. I'm sure there's a... Oh, it's got a little phenolic quality. Wafting up into my nose then as well. Well, this is probably an extreme version of what I've been talking about. And I guess that's the best way to um, describe it. How can you spoil... A perfectly amazing beer as well. This is an absolute stormer. But normally, before I dunked all this crap in, for me, <coughs> Colonel Pale Ale, Cent um, Centennial Chinook, 
it's much better without the sediment. You'd be crazy to pour it in, you're going to ruin it. Uh, obviously, some beers like Orval, put the, put the yeast in towards the end, it brings a sweetness to it, and I think that's fine. Imperial Stouts, I don't think they're going to um, suffer, some will. I've had a few, like Serpent Stout, I've heard that um, Alesmith Speedway has got a bit of a weird gel kind of quality to the sediment, which I've had, and it's, it spoils it, to be honest. Um, I personally don't think it adds anything, and this has kind of reinforced my kind of attitude towards this. Really, um, it's a shame. Um, if it's okay, if the brewer says put it in, put it in. If they say leave it out, leave it out, because it's their decision. They created it. They designed it. They brought this to life. Follow, I say follow their instructions, um, because. That's not the same. And that's not a true representation of what they hope you would taste in your glass when you got it. I'd like to think Evan down at um, Colonel, he knows how to brew a beer. He knows how this beer should be served. He's putting that yeast in the bottle to give it life, to extend its um, shelf life, to carbonate, and, and, and primarily to carbonate. Uh, to bottle condition the beer to carbonate it whilst it's in fermenting for that little bit longer in the bottle to give it a bit of life and that's its sole reason so there you go ignore that that does no longer exist that exists <laughs> Colonel Pale Ale Centennial Chinook it's an absolutely fantastic beer leave the sediment out that's all I'm going to say on this Anyway, thanks for joining me for this slightly indulgent <laughs> review, and I'll see you soon. And Simon, cheers, but I'll leave it out. <laughs>